3D apps connects people who want to 3D print something with people owning the 3D printers. We both got into 3D printing five years ago. We started working at the same company. Brian is a designer and I work there as a product manager. We said, how can we really localize this 3D printing? And the way we thought it should be done was by unlocking the idle 3D printers that are already out there. We worked on it for months and months, in the weekends and evenings. At some point we uh, got the idea of maybe doing it ourselves. So then we, we took a gamble by quitting our jobs and applying for Rockstar. And Rockstar was a, a big, big win. We just had a good vibe and a good connection with it from the beginning. So we didn't really apply for any other accelerators. When we just started, uh, we didn't really have a website live. So we just went. <laughs> We already got the first few orders in, so we just handled them by phone and by bike, so picking them up and then delivering them. That allowed us to really figure out what do our users want. We are in the fortunate position that we had very little uh, struggles. Things have uh, gone uh, far above expectations. We uh, made a, a few lists of targets, like getting 1500 printers connected, and a couple months ago we already hit the 1500 printer mark. So. Of course, Amsterdam was the first city, then Antwerp, London, Berlin, New York, San Francisco, LA, Boston. All the major cities uh, by now are pretty much connected to 3 apps. In August, when we did our global launch, we got covered by uh, Wired, Gizmodo, uh, Forbes. Uh, yeah, these are just really big websites, and to see your startup on, on their uh, yeah, on their website, that's really great. If you look back how, how we've grown so rapidly in just a few months, I think the Rockstar has really contributed to, to that. It's also helped us to, to secure funding in a very smooth and fast way. We got lucky enough to have five great investors on board this summer. Balderton from London and four Dutch investors. Today on the platform we have 2222 printers. We have seven people in, in Amsterdam and then we have people in uh, New York and then there's one turn working from London. Pretty much anything you see around you, including like this wooden table, you can you can 3D print. So in five or ten years, yeah, why not just 3D print I don't know, your laptop or um, yeah, your glasses or any, anything you want basically. What we want to see is a future where everybody uh, can have access to 3D printing and can make uh, most of the products that they need through uh, our platform. There's nothing that beats doing what you like to do. If you're doing this, this uh, startup, doing this company, it has not for a single day, not for a single hour, has felt like work. It's just doing what you like to do and follow that and don't get stuck in, uh, in, in doing something you don't like to do.